Hi guys and welcome to this video on algebraic fractions. In this video we're going to be looking at how we multiply and divide algebraic fractions. So for us to multiply and divide algebraic fractions, all we need to do is to simply follow the same rules as we do for numerical fractions. So if you remember, to multiply fractions together, we have to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. For division, we have to flip the second fraction or the divisor and multiply instead. Okay, as always, remember to simplify your answers. Pause the video just now and write this into your notes jotter. So here is example number one. So we have 2 over x multiplied by 3y over 4. So we simply have to multiply the numerators together and multiply the denominators. However, before we do the multiplication, we should look to simplify it first. For simplification, we always look diagonally. So you'll see that we have a 2 here and a 4 here. Both of these will divide by 2. So if we divide both of these by 2, we end up with a 1 and a 2. Now these are the numbers that we will use for a multiplication. So on the numerator, we have 1 times the 3y. Well, that simply leaves it with 3y. On the denominator, we have x multiplied by 2. So we end up with 2x. This fraction is your answer given in its simplest form. Pause the video and copy this into your jotter. Right, example number 2. Fractions are a little more complicated this time, but we still have to multiply them together, and we're still going to follow the same rules. So we have 10y squared over 7x multiplied by 14x squared over 5y. So before we do the multiplication, we should be thinking about cancelling things off. So if we look at the 10y squared and the 5y, both of those will divide by 5. So we'll be left with a 2 here and a 1 here. However, both the y squared and the y will also cancel. So we can cancel a y from each of those. To be left with a 2y for the numerator and just 1 on the denominator. If you look at the other pair, we've got 7x and 14x squared. Again, 14 and 7 will cancel. Let's give you 2 and 1. And x squared and x will cancel just to leave you with x. So now, what we really have here is 2y over 1 multiplied by 2x over 1. So this is a lot simpler for us to multiply than the expressions that we started with. So as always, multiply the numerators together, multiply the denominators together, and then we'll get our final answer. So 2y multiplied by 2x gives us 4xy, or 4yx. We tend to write them in al alphabetical order. And then the 1 times 1 just gives us 1. Anything divided by 1, or well, we can just write it as itself, really. So 4xy. This answer is now in its simplest form. Pause the video again and copy this into your jotter. Okay, example number 3, we're now on to division. So we have 5x over 6 divided by 7x over 8. So remember, for division, we first of all need to flip the second fraction and change the division to a multiplication. So this becomes 5x over 6 multiplied by 8 over 7x. But it's at this stage that we would look to see if we can do any cancellations, any simplification. So diagonally across from each other, the 8 and the 6 will cancel because they both divide by 2. So that will leave us with a 4 and a 3. And for the other diagonal, the x and the x will cancel. So we're just left with 5 and 7. So even though we've started off with an algebraic fraction here, what we're actually going to end up with is a numerical fraction. So we have 5 times the 4 to get 20, and 3 times the 7 to get 21. So there we have our answer in its simplest form. Again, pause the video and write this into your jotter. Okay, here are some questions for you to try before you attend class. So we have 3x over 5 multiplied by 2 over x minus 1. And 5 over 2x divided by y over 6. 
pause the video just now and try these questions. The answers will be revealed in a second. Okay, here are your answers to these questions. For the first one, you should have the answer of 6x over 5x minus 5. And for the second one, you should have 15 over xy. All the steps are shown for you, so if there's something that you're not clear about, make sure you ask your teacher when you get to class.